ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I've been doing something that I kept forgetting to do. Guys, it's on Legend Difficulty now. You happy? It's on Legend Difficulty. I forgot to do it the last million times, okay? We're gonna go right into the action, but the the match we're gonna do... We're gonna do Matt Hardy versus Batista. That's that's the match we're gonna do. I'll actually, I'll, I'll go over the card. We have Edge and Mysterio for the Intercontinental title. Matt Hardy versus Batista, CM Punk, HBK, and I know we had to do this. We're gonna pretend like it doesn't happen. We're gonna go ahead and straight play. We're going to play as Batista, yeah. So we're gonna play as Batista. We're, yeah, I know, we're getting right into this thing, I know. I know, I know. Usually, I usually I'm just like, hey guys, welcome to. But we're getting right into it today. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to get through these episodes here, so maybe we can do a little bit of extra stuff. Um, <coughs> something that I actually realized is the Hardy Boys' popularity is not that good. I did renew their contracts. I did. I renewed their contracts. They I shouldn't I'm not going to have to worry about contracts for a while, guys, trust me. But as far as my money goes, I am just at a million dollars or not a million, uh 3 million. I keep um the thing I'm spending my money on the most is the contracts. And I don't know how much and okay, and another thing that I did was that I completely wiped out my women's division in order to get that uh, three million dollar mark. So I have no more women's division. I got rid of them all. Um, they're in the free agency. We. I'm just trying to save as much money as I possibly can, just in case I come into a big issue with contracts. But the reason why I renewed them in the first place is what is so I wouldn't have to worry about it for a long time. Um. The people who I have like that are contracted for like twenty weeks, you know, I think I think they're honestly good, and I think we should be set. And the next person that I am looking to pick up, the next person that I want, is from SmackDown, and we are hopefully going to pick him up by the end of this episode, but I'm not quite sure. We might be able to. The person that I want to pick up. He goes by the name of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, another person I can pick up alongside Steve Austin is Ric Flair, but I don't know. We can get every single member of Evolution if we can get Ric Flair on SmackDown. And we can also get Stone Cold Steve Austin from SmackDown. That is going to be something I'm really excited for. Who am I going to have to trade away to do that? I might have to trade away Roddy Piper or something. I know. Roddy Piper's huge. I understand he is legendary. But Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ric Flair. Who would you rather have? Steve Austin, Ric Flair, or Roddy Piper? You know? So, we're about to have all of Evolution. Hopefully, hopefully. If everything goes to plan the way that I want it to, hopefully. And then, and then next week... After that, we'll focus on raising a couple people because I know the Hardy Boys need a boost. We're going to try to raise people as slowly as possible. This series has been doing so well. In fact, I think it is the uh, most viewed series on my channel so far other than my universe mode, which my universe modes take longer to do. <coughs> so, and uh, also other than my tutorial videos. But, you know, as far as Let's Play... And Let's Play that I can do very frequently. This series has been doing very well. And I have been very happy with the results of this series so far. And I love this game. So that is a plus. As far as doing the matches, I mean, I'm okay with doing the matches. Um, I just found out that now I'm in Legend Difficulty. So now, Matt Hardy should have at least somewhat of a chance. Now this is a normal match, so I can't just resort to grabbing weapons. Now you should be able to reverse me. Okay. Oh yeah. Working on those legs. The animal working on the legs. Ooh. 
And then maybe maybe I'll try one time, maybe for one time I will try AI versus AI. I just I don't know how good the AI versus AI is going to be. Oh my god, Matt Hardy just did a pile driver to Batista. Matt Hardy just did a pile driver. To, oh god. Oh god, Matt Hardy's actually coming. Okay. 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 This is actually not looking good for Batista right now. Uh, there we go. Yeah, get him! Uh, now, match quality does not really matter. So, we're not going to worry about match quality. In fact, we could get through this match as quick as we possibly... What? Oh, my God. But see, if this match is going to get a low rating, we're going to try to get as good of a match as possible, which means we're going to try to hit as many finishers as we possibly can because this match is sure to potentially get a low rating because I don't know oh man why is he not allowed to get a rope break what the <laughs> his head was like okay I don't know why he wasn't allowed a rope break oh he gets out of the ring here hey ref hey ref just I just wanted to roll you up for a second. <laughs> oh, okay. Is he going to go for a pile driver again? Oh, nope. This time it's going to be something different. Oh, the high cross or the razor's edge, whatever you want to call it. By Matt Hardy. I'm the animal roar. I think Jeff Hardy won the last match, so having Batista win is a nice little uh, evenly matched thing. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Oh, I can't beat the shit out of Jeff. <laughs> I don't know if I want this match to end off in disqualification, so I'm not going to anyway. Oh, yeah, Jeff. Uh, you're looking the wrong way, dumbass. Oh, God. I actually hit Jeff. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Jeff, 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 uh, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt pissed now. Matt's pissed off. Matt's pissed off. I hit his partner. But guess what? Guess what, Matt? That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Into the cover. Hook of the leg. Shoulders down. It's over. You know what, to be honest, my favorite part of this game is the simulation anyway. So, I don't really care about the match quality, even though, you know, because it's just the old game match quality. It, it, it's fine. I don't really mind. It's the old game match quality. It, it, it's honestly completely okay with me. Um, and, to be honest, I... Yeah, so now I, I definitely have to mess around with the options a little bit. But I think most people watch for everything. Because when I watch a GM mode, um, personally, I don't even watch the matches. If, if it was not like a 2K game, I would watch the matches, but it's not a 2K game. The match quality is much better now than it, it was back then. But um, this is why I want GM mode so bad, because the matches are just so much better. And... <laughs> Uh, it would be it would be so good to have matches, great matches plus a GM mode. Oh, oh my goodness! So we're gonna hit simulate and we have a new intercontinental champion. So this title is flip flopping. That's kind of cool. I guess that's good for ratings. Why not? Evolution Punk with the victory. Cena again. Oh my God! Cena's killing Kane. The Rock wins the title or, or retains. I should say. Ah. Uh, what do we get? All right, three and a half stars. Okay, I okay. This was the lowest match. Unfortunately, we played the lowest match. Four stars, three, two, three and a half, three and a half, four and a half. So that's kind. That's really, really good. Who did I want to raise? I think it was Roddy Piper, and he is not involved in a rivalry. I have to double check. Right. He is not involved in a rivalry, so we can trade him away. I don't know how good his popularity is right now, so we're going to figure that out. So, Roddy Piper. 
And I'm just trying to trade away the guys with the um, the low contracts. So he has the lowest, one of the lowest contracts on my show, six weeks. And so does Edge, and I don't like that. Oh, God. Um, I just picked up... Okay, so we're, we'll, we'll fix that. But Roddy Piper has six weeks, so we're just going to get rid of him because we don't need him. <laughs> uh, Roddy Piper... So Roddy... Uh... What is he at now? He's at 93. I think he only needs one more. If not, we'll just give him both the trophy dates. If not, if not, if we if we can't get. Oh oh no oh well. <laughs> Kinda in our favor there. So we're gonna propose a little trade. Smackdown. We want Steve and Rick, but we mostly want Steve. So, can we get them? No! Oh, man. That's, okay. Can, all right, all right, all right. No, this isn't good. Okay, ECW had a three-star show. This is not good. Okay, can I just get Steve Austin? Can I just get Steve Austin? And then maybe a jabroni on your show? Maybe somebody like... Okay, so I can't get... Rick, so I have to get someone below a 79. Uh, Booker 78. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Uh, Mr. Kennedy. Uh, is there anyone? Okay, there's a 78, and there's. Um,. Can I pick up JTG on your roster? Can I at least get a can I at least get a second guy that I can make like popularity a hundred like JTG? So I was training with Roddy Piper. That's what I was getting rid of. I need Steve Austin, that's all I want. Yes! Alright! Yes! So we couldn't get Ric Flair. I don't know why you didn't want to give us Ric Flair, but guys! We have the beer drinking Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he's there for 33 weeks. So we don't have to worry about his contract. Oh, this is great. Realistically, popularity-wise, that's why the show um, is doing pretty decent right now. Their show is doing well, and I understand it. Now, who needs the popularity boost the most? Kane, I think. I think he does. Does he? All right, let me check. Let me check. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure. So Kane is at what? Kane is at 74 popularity. Matt's at 72. Jeff. Jeff needs a, a boost. Jeff needs a boost. So get Jeff Hardy a trophy date. And, uh, oh, okay, we got a little bit of an extra day. This is going to be a SmackDown pay-per-view, but we do get an extra day. Um, okay, so if we check the ratings, Raw hit three and a half, ECW three, SmackDown got three and a half. So we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Okay, Ric Flair is their Cruiserweight champion. So I can see why, okay, they put Roddy Piper, What? Okay, I don't know how that happened, but he put Roddy Piper on the show. Good job, I guess. Um, Judgment Day is an extra day for us, so who do we raise? We're going to be wise about this. Okay, so... Who is in a rivalry? Alright, CM Punk is... Oh, wait, Batista is also important. Right? Because he's in this... Batista, Triple H, Jeff and Matt, 80, 72. Okay, well, Matt, yeah, because the Hardy Boys need a... All right, so I guess both the Hardys needed a boost. So we'll do another trophy day. Okay, so we're at 3.6 million now. Uh, I gave Batista the boost instead. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. Okay, so Flair was in the show. Apparently, Ric Flair had the best... Okay, so... I guess I could see why we're not getting Ric Flair right now. Um, so Batista's at an 85, I guess, at this point. So that's fine. Right, whatever. 
Batista and Triple H doing well. Um, what do we do? Uh, <coughs> so, well, I guess we'll book Austin. All right. Well, I'm going to edit around the rivalries, I guess. Um, okay, well, I got to figure out if Steve Austin's a heel or a face. Austin is clean, JTG and Orton, dirty. Edge is dirty. Okay, Mysterio's clean. I don't, um... This is without a title match. But, I mean, Steve Austin has bigger popularity, though. Hold on. John Cena Kane. Cena's clean. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about it, man. Um, I can get, I could just get rid of this one. But their popularity is decent. Like, they're doing good. Just let them, I guess I could just let them have the ride. John Cena and Kane, would that be smart to get rid of? No, because Steve Austin is, no. Um, I could do Austin and Punk. I mean, that, does, that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. However, <sighs> of the, mm, yeah, because he's a clean, oh, God. Ugh. I never thought that how bad the, the clean and dirties would turn out. Oh, my God. Uh, I can't put him in a rivalry right now. But soon, 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 Austin, I promise. Well, I can. I can get rid of this one. Because their popularity, like, they're all low. So, Batista, okay, clean, dirty. I mean, I'm going to see what happens if I can get rid of this. Because they should be at two by now. We're going to get rid of that tag rivalry, and we're actually going to do something interesting. So, we, we didn't get McFoley, so we couldn't do anything there. But, our tag team champions are Triple H and Batista. We can do something like Orton... And Austin. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it seems weird thinking about it. Uh, is there anyone else I could pair with him that would make more sense? You know what? No. Nobody else makes more sense. I'm sorry that I have to pair Steve Austin with Randy Orton. But we'll just play it off as evolution ain't a thing yet. And we'll do that because the popularity is just higher. And I just prefer that. The Hardy Boys, like... I love you guys, but I need to figure out something to do with y'all. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hold on. See you guys. Stop. Before you do anything, you got to check out the Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's pretty freaking cool. Nick Inspo is on everything because I'm not an idiot. So Nick Inspo, follow me everywhere. I'm interactive on everything, and I'm active on everything. So check me out.